Hey everyone, it's me, Megs, and I'm back with another video, y'all. This is actually going to be a follow-up video to my starter hair journey routine video. And this video is all about the products that I've been using consistently for the year doing that exact routine. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go ahead and check that out. That video is actually gonna be linked in the description and pinned in the comment section below for you to check out. If you're interested in starting your hair journey and don't know where to begin, you can check out that easy starter routine that I've been doing consistently since last year and it has gotten me these results okay I've cut my hair a few times right and it's just coming right on back okay so these products that I'm going to show you all these are my staples okay it's not to say that I don't own and use other products but these are the products that have always worked and have been working really really well for me during this consistent journey that I've been doing to retain length okay and overall it has changed the look of my hair my hair is becoming healthier so things are really looking up so let's go ahead and get into this video okay now let's be clear all of these products may or may not work for everyone but you just have to try some things out and some things will work for you and some things won't so that's all that comes with the hair journey as well is the product discovery so hopefully this video will help you out if you're looking for products and don't want to try a whole bunch of products maybe some of these will work for you and maybe some of these products won't work for you and other products work better for you and that's totally fine everything isn't supposed to work for everybody okay so let's go ahead and get started into the clarifying shampoos that I enjoy using now it's really important that you have a good clarifying shampoo because on a hair journey and if you're doing the routine that that's kind of similar to mine you're using a lot of products daily right so you need to clear your hair of any product buildup on your scalp and hair because things can get a bit messy when you don't clarify enough or at all, okay? So I really love the Paul Mitchell Shampoo 2, and this is a clarifying shampoo. It allows my hair to be really clean but doesn't feel stripped. When I tell you your hair feels almost squeaky clean but also with some slip, as far as my experience with this shampoo, that's what it's giving me, but listen this does the job okay and so I clarify about once to twice a month if it's twice a month it all depends on what I've done to my hair but usually I just clarify once a month and of course I cannot forget about the Aura S Hair Restore Uplifting Shampoo and this is a clarifying shampoo that I have been using for years okay I actually originally first started using this um, when I was a child my mother first introduced um, this into our at home routine with using this and it works really well it has a nice kind of like tingling sensation that kind of works to your scalp it really helps clear your scalp of any buildup dandruff problems or scalp irritation so I absolutely love this shampoo. And of course, the Creamy Aloe Shampoo by ORS, which is within the olive oil line. And this is an oldie but goodie as well. And I actually love using this once a month as a clarifying because I also feel like this is a bit more gentle um, on my hair than some of the other shampoos that I do own. It gives my hair a nice creamy, moisturized, slip feel to my hair that I absolutely love. Okay, so I necessarily don't want to put this in a clarifying category because this is indeed a detox shampoo. It just all depends on how you see fit using this. I enjoy using the ORS Hair Repair Scalp Rescuing Detox Shampoo, which is sulfate free. I like using this on co-wash days. And I say that because I do work out a few times a week and my scalp gets really sweaty with a lot of yuckiness going on in my scalp and I cannot keep that sweat and, and just yuckiness on my scalp because it will cause scalp irritation. So when I get done working out, especially if I had a really hard workout where my scalp and hair is just drenched with sweat, I normally do one shampoo rinse with this before I go in with my co-wash. And co-washing is when you basically cleanse your hair. I don't know if I necessarily wanna say cleanse, but it's kind of like a midweek refresher when you co-wash, for me at least, to add moisture to your hair or to kind of like refresh your hair. And I like using the Aussie Miracle Moist. I've been using this for about a little over three years now because I used to use a different product, but this does the moisturizing trick. If your hair is 
dry your scalp is dry you may want to you know throw a co-wash in there um some people don't like co-washing but i absolutely love it for adding moisture so on those days when i have a, a really hard rough work workout or my scalp is just drenched with sweat i do one um one shampoo rinse with this and then I follow up with co-washing with the Aussie Moist, okay? And so co-washing, I tend to do that um, midweek, okay? Once right now, okay? Now in the past, I used to co-wash twice a week. I'm not ready for all that in my regimen just yet. But I, I think I might incorporate co-washing again twice a week in the near future. I just got to make sure I got my routine down, <laughs> down first before I start adding everything else, okay? On to moisturizing shampoos. Now, moisturizing shampoos, I tend to use that during the week, and I do shampoo my hair once a week on Sundays normally. Um, so I really love using the Cura Care Hydrating Detangling Shampoo um, during the week, and when I tell you it really detangles, like just it just adds so much slip, so much moisture. I love this and this is the Cura Care Hydrating Detangling Shampoo and it just, it does the trick. Okay, it does the trick, I love it. Now with shampoos, I didn't wanna put the Olaplex number four into a category because I'm still kind of like, hmm, I don't really know where to place the Olaplex line because the Olaplex line, it when I read it, more information about it, it it's its own kind of like, um, in its own category, it's not necessarily like protein, it's not necessarily moisture, it's kind of like a patent um, formula that Olaplex has patented themselves, it's not really neither. Um, so I do love the Olaplex number four, the Bond Maintenance Shampoo, it says repairs, strengthens, and nourishes. So when I read this, and, and from what I think I know <laughs> about, you know, products, Anything that says repair or strengthen, I tend to think like, oh, that might have some sort of protein in it, some sort of, some something, okay? So um, I tend to use this um, Olaplex. I like to use this alone um, when I feel like I need a, just a little extra treatment. And I feel like the Olaplex line in general has really helped keep my hair on point, okay? But the, the shampoo is the bomb, so I'm not really putting that really anywhere. Hopefully it doesn't confuse you, but I normally use the Olaplex system as a step system majority of the time, okay, but I do use the products individually too, okay? I do have Olaplex number zero and I do have number three, and to me, in my opinion, I kind of would put this, if we're being technical, in a pre-poo category because these are products that you use before you shampoo your hair, so I really... I know in my Olaplex review video, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know if I would repurchase this again. I didn't really see a difference, you know? And you know, the girls were like, girl, I don't know what she's talking about. A zero works well with number three, which it does. And I actually enjoy using both together. And I think what kind of turns me off sometimes is the nozzle, it makes it hard to apply. Now, if this was in a spray bottle, which I think they changed um, the, the, the top to a spray bottle, I think I would like it a bit more. So I'm gonna give it another try. But I love these two and I feel like it has really made a great difference with my hair with doing the Olaplex number zero and number three together before I shampoo within the step system. But yeah, I love this stuff. All right, y'all, so let's talk about conditioners, okay? So I'm gonna show a few different types of conditioners. So when I'm on my hair journey, I do have a lot of different types of conditioners, and you may be wondering like, well, when do you know when to use them? I kind of feel and look at what my hair is doing and decide what my hair needs more at the time, but I normally just kind of like alternate the conditioners by week by week, um, depending on what my hair needs. So say if one week I did moisture, the next week I'll do light protein, and then I'll do moisture, and then I'll do protein. You know, so I just kind of like alternate when I use the conditioners on wash day. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so now on to my protein conditioners that I do my protein treatments with once to twice a month. And I normally like to do my protein treatments on the same day that I do my clarifying shampoo, just because it's easier for me to remember that way. And I've been using the ORS Hair Restore Hair Mayonnaise, and this is a great protein-based deep conditioner. 
I love it. I've been using it for years on all of my hair journeys back when I was first relaxed, um, doing my first relaxed hair journey starting in 2008. And when I went natural, I love this as well. And back relaxed still works just as well. It gives my hair a lot of strength, but also it's like kind of more, it makes my hair feel moisturized at the same time, but strong. Um, but I absolutely love this. You can add oils to this and I'll get into oils a little bit later. And you also can use this as a pre-poo. Sometimes some people have added egg to this. I know back in the day, back in the day, people would add egg to this to really kick it up a notch. But it's not really necessarily. It just depends what you want to do. Um, but you can just use a straight up egg as your protein treatment once a month and just kind of mix some oils in it. I've done that too in the past and it has worked really well. But you know, I've been preferring to use just a straight up ORS Hair Restore Hair Mayonnaise. And when I tell you with consistent use, with you know deep conditioning, with good products, your hair will transform, okay? It will do its magic with consistent use, okay? So I love using this once to twice a month. All right, so now on to moisturizing conditioners. I absolutely love the Joyco Moisture Recovery Treatment Balm. It is a thick conditioner, okay, and it really gives your hair that moisture boost that you need, especially if you're experiencing dry hair, okay? I love this for that. It works great. And this has actually been in my routine for years now. Even when I was natural, I loved it. Relax, love it. It just works really well. And I tend to pick mine up from Marshalls just to save a little coin, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Um, but of course, it's available at, you know, Ulta and online on their official website. So you can get it there. But Love this a lot. And of course, I have to have the Cure Care Humecto Cream Conditioner. And when I tell you this gives my hair like crazy slip, I absolutely love it. And it smells really good too. Actually, both the Joyco Moisture Recovery too, it also smells great too. These both smell really good. Like I love them both. And they give these both give my hair a lot of slip that I absolutely love. And I just, I can't get enough of it. So I love this. And of course, I do have the Olaplex number no. eight, and this is the Bond Intense Moisture Mask. And I put this in the moisturizing um, category for myself because I do have pretty much the whole Olaplex line, and I do use the Olaplex line in the step system that it's recommended, but I also use the products individually too. Um, so I love using this. Um, this moisture mask, a little bit of this does go a long way. And when I tell you it gives your hair moisture, it really does that, okay? And so the Olaplex line works well for natural hair too, relax, but it really works well for all hair types. If you Google um, Olaplex, you can see many different people of many different hair types using Olaplex. So I really, really love this, um, this Bond Intense Moisture Mask. Now on to light protein conditioners. Um, I do love the ORS Olive Oil Strengthen and Nourishing Replenishing Conditioner, and this is infused with sweet orange oil. And I am not new to this, I'm real true to it. I've been, I actually started using this uh, consistently when I had started my very, very first relaxed hair journey in 2008. And I, look, listen, it, works okay it works it's pretty affordable it gets the job done gets my hair a lot of slip um with consistent use it really had transformed my hair like my hair feels soft it has shine body um it's a lot healthier with consistent use so i really love the um replenishing conditioner and this is definitely a staple it's not going nowhere it's not going anywhere I do have the Olaplex number no. five bond maintenance conditioner. I do have this in my light protein category, but you know, you know how I feel about this. It's just confusing. So I tend to like, to, <laughs> I like to use this as kind of like a strengthening treatment. So that's why I put it in the light protein. Um, and I bought the big bottle of this. I really enjoy this conditioner a lot. It gives my hair a lot of slip, smells good, works great, love it. All right, y'all, so on to leave-in conditioner, and I feel like having a good leave-in conditioner is definitely a game changer because I feel like having a good leave-in conditioner is kind of like a primer, like a barrier um, of a breakage defense <laughs> in a way that leave-in conditioners provide your hair. So I've been using the Olaplex number no. 6, the Bond Smoother Leave-In Reparative Styling Cream. I actually been using this consistently since 2021 as my leave-in conditioner, no matter if I use heat, no matter if I'm air drying, 
I am using the number six as my leave-in and I really believe it has made a real big difference, okay? Smells good, helps with air drying, smooths out things, okay? It helps me stretch my relaxers, especially when we're getting up into this new growth, when we start stretching, works wonders. Love this stuff and a little bit of this goes a long way, okay? I do love this leave-in conditioner. It is the Protective Mist Botifier Leave-In Conditioning Spray. Hydrates, moisturizes hair and scalp, softens and conditions. And when I tell you it softens my new growth, especially when I'm anything after eight weeks post relaxer is when I grab for this the most because my new growth comes in pretty dry. It can be a bit unruly, <laughs> especially when you have previously relaxed straight hair, it can get a bit antsy dancing here. So I like to spray this on my scalp, on my hair, especially when I have a lot of new growth. It helps with breakage because when you're stretching your relaxer, um, you don't want to cause any extra breakage or manipulation and this definitely helps soften that new growth. So I tend to reach for this mainly when I'm a couple weeks post relaxer, mainly anything after eight weeks post. And it works. It's really, really good. Really moisturize um, my new growth and it just creates nice slip that I need. Okay. All right, y'all, you still here? Are you still here? Thank you for hanging with me. So we're gonna get into moisturizers. So I do have two moisturizers that I absolutely love, but the first one that I been loving for years since 2008 is the ORS Olive Oil Incredibly Rich um, oil moisturizing hair lotion and this is infused with castor oil and I've been using this consistently okay consistently back on this hair journey and when I tell you my hair is showing me that it's working okay I love using this moisturizer daily or every other day to moisturize my hair with and then I normally follow up with an oil to seal with which I'll share with you guys in just a little bit the oils that I like but this is bomb, okay? It's actually a water-based condi I mean, um, moisturizer, and that's what I like. I need water-based conditioners. Girl, why I keep saying conditioner? Moisturizer, water-based moisturizers work really, really well for me, and that's what I've been using. And how do you know what's a water-based? If I'm correct, if I'm right, <laughs> um, when I look at the ingredient list, the first uh, ingredient says aqua. Okay, so that is what you need. So yeah, this is a holy grail of mine, okay? I also really love the As I Am Classic So Much Moisture Moisturizer. I like using this when I have a lot of new growth. I feel like it performs the best with me when I have a lot of new growth because anything after eight weeks post relaxer, my hair just starts to dry, be dry. <laughs> it starts to feel dry. Now when I say dry, not crazy like desert dry, but like my new growth from my relaxed hair, it gets a little weird up here. So I tend to need something just a little different um, during that time. So I love using the as I am. But you know what, my, my pump is messed up and I don't know, oh, girl, I guess it ain't messed up. <laughs> Girl, can I work? Oh, okay. Well, it, it worked now. Um, so yeah, I like this. This works really well. I thought my pump was messed up all this time. All right, so on to oils, and I really love doing scalp massages. I was doing a castor oil challenge sometime last year where I was applying castor oil twice a week to my hair, doing scalp massages, and it worked really well. That was a hairlicious um, castor oil challenge that I uh, did last year, and I think I might do it again this year. And I love using the Sunny Isle Extra Dark Jamaican Black Castor Oil, and castor oil is known to help um, with retaining length, promoting hair growth and thickness and things like that. And I personally love the extra dark. Um, I've been using this for years, but I also do have the, uh, the just like regular castor oil and this is by Home Health. This is a cold press non-GMO. I feel like they work equally as best, but this one just has a little extra nutrients because it's the extra dark Jamaican black castor oil. You can use both, it just depends. So I love using castor oil mixed with a few other oils for a scalp massage. Um, and I also do enjoy adding castor oil to my conditioners when I deep condition, okay? And I've just noticed a great difference. So I do my scalp massages minimum once to twice a week, okay? And I just love it. 
absolutely I absolutely love using peppermint oil and rosemary oil and tea tree oil in some of my deep conditions um, I do not have the tea tree oil and the rosemary oil to show within this video but I definitely use them because I just ran out so I have to order some more from iHerb which is where I get all of my oils so if you're in need of oils check out my description below I do have a coupon code for you if you need some oils because I'm gonna go in there after this video and order some more um, but I love using peppermint oil rosemary oil and tea tree oil to add to my deep conditions and those are essential oils which help promote growth promote healthy hair and scalp and retain length and that's what I want <laughs> okay and health okay overall absolutely have been loving this um, hair under there um, soothing and cooling scalp potion um, by curls and I like mixing this with the um, Jamaican black castor oil and when I tell you you get a real experience cooling calming sensation to your scalp just using even this alone but mix with this, it's real, okay? I love adding this to my Jamaican black castor oil, okay? It really does the trick. Talk about tingling and cooling. It just feels good. I love it. On to carrier oils that I seal my hair with when I moisturize and seal. And I love using coconut oil. I've been using coconut oil consistently since last year. And when I tell you my hair... Is definitely saying thank you it's saying thank you like I've noticed great changes with using coconut oil on my hair because coconut oil is a really nice lightweight oil too and it's also like a reparative oil so if you are noticing that you have some damage to your hair you might want to try coconut oil but also be careful if your hair doesn't like something stop using it because some people can be coconut oil sensitive so I just want to keep that in your minds that coconut oil can do some harm for some people and can work wonders for others so definitely learn and understand if you are one of those people who are coconut oil sensitive okay love to seal with jojoba oil and i also love adding this to my conditioners when i deep condition nice and lightweight has tons of vitamins and nutrients for your hair love jojoba oil and of course, good old olive oil. I love just using some olive oil to seal with to add to my deep conditions. I also add this to my scalp massages um, when I do my scalp massage oil blend sometimes. So really love olive oil for that reason. So we are almost done. We are almost there. Okay, so these products, it's all about shine. And I love using ORS olive oil nourishing sheen spray when I want to add some shine to my hair. I actually used it today to give my hair, you know, a nice glisten, a nice gloss. So I love this. And I also really love the Luster's Pink Glosser. And when I tell you when I use this, especially when I do protective styles of buns and things, it's like when you put this on, it's like your hair has so much luster, it looks like glass. Like when I turn my head this way, turn it that way, the shine is so crazy. It's like glass on my hair. So I really love this when I do ponytail styles, um, especially protective styles, because a little bit of this goes definitely a long way. So when I do want to put this on my hair, say when I'm wearing my hair down, I only apply it to my hand. Um, because I can control it a lot better versus just spraying it directly on my hair because a lot comes out of this spray Like a lot comes out <laughs> So I have to be careful with how much I put on my hair Especially if I'm wearing it down So oh, I love it so much. I don't know if you can see what it just did but Yes, smells so good. And I used this when I was in high school. So it's near and dear to my, my heart and memories and things like that. And for roller sets, what do I use? I love using the Liquid Gold by Cream of Nature. And this is the Argan Oil from Morocco. This is the Style and Shine Foaming Mousse. And I love this. I actually used it on this roller set that I did a few days ago. Does the trick, does the trick. And I do have a glossing polisher and I really like using this on my hair when I have my roller sets um, because I feel like I can get away with using a slightly heavier products when I do roller sets. And I love the um, Olive Oil Frizz Control and Shine Glossing Hair Polisher. And this has Pequi Oil. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But I love using this when I have my roller sets. 
All right, y'all, so we are gonna finish this video with my heat pass products. This is when I use a flat iron directly on my hair through my hair, okay? Since I have fine hair, I need products that are more lightweight, that give my hair a lot of body and bounce. And you know what, I've discovered something. I've actually started using this probably last month when I purchased it because I was watching a lot of other ladies who have fine hair and need stuff for volume. And they all mentioned the Joyco Joyful Volumizing Shampoo and the matching conditioner. And I love using this for heat pass days when I know I'm gonna blow dry my hair and flat iron it, okay? This stuff works really well, smells really good, and gives my hair a lot of volume, love it. And of course, when I do my heat pass, I always use my leave-in conditioner, which is the Olaplex number six. And sometimes I do just go straight in with the Nexus Humectris lightweight conditioning mist, especially depending on what my hair needs at the time. This is really nice and lightweight because it's a spray because I don't have thick hair. So anything heavier than this, it can just be tragic, <laughs> okay? So I always go in with a leave-in conditioner before I do my heat protectant. Protectant that I have been using and loving for years is by Sebastian and it is the Sebastian Trilliant, the Thermal Protection and Sparkle Complex. If you have been a long watcher of my channel, you've seen me use this back in the day on my relaxed hair journey when I would blow out my hair on the cool setting. This allows me to get them results without use, having to use a lot of high heat on the high heat setting. So I love this. I also love the Nioxin Therm Active Protector. Um, these products give my hair a lot of volume. It doesn't weigh my hair down. It provides a lot of shine and smooths my hair out too. Um, so I love these. Like, I'm actually out of this and need to buy some more. So love it. Of course, I do love my Cura Care Silk and Seal. I kind of like to add this as a finisher when my hair has been flat ironed. It just keeps everything nice and smooth and shiny. Love this. I also like using this on my wig. So if you watch my channel, you've seen me use this on my wigs too. But love this. This smells really good too. Do love the Olive Oil Therm Last 2-in-1 Heat Defense Shine Mist. So I really love using this. So sometimes I'll use my leave-in conditioner. Then I'll go in with my heat protectant spray like this. Blow dry my hair. And then right before I go into flat iron, I'll put a little bit of either this or the Cure Care onto my hair, just a small amount, and then go in with flat iron my hair. So I'm double protected, leaving conditioner, uh, heat protectant, my shine protectors and, and mist and things like that. So my hair be feeling like salon when I'm done, okay? So with the correct products and you know using them how you need to use them for your hair, depending on what your hair needs, you can get some pretty bomb results at home, okay? All right, y'all, so that is about it for this video as far as my hair journey starter, beginner favorites when it comes to my hair journey that I've been using consistently for the past year. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask me, but everything I talked about and showed will be listed down in the description below. So if you need a listing that is there, please check it out, okay? And as always, thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all later.